Okay guys, this is Watch of Vlogs. We have another real gun video for you today. Um, no, it's been a while since I've made a video, but here we go. <laughs> okay guys, uh, ignore the terrace in the background. But as you see, I got my 9130 Mosin down here. Basically, we're just going to go ahead and strip it down here and get it ready for painting as I will be painting it black. Um, everything I have here today, multiple grits of sandpaper, got 100 and 150. And then just random sanding blocks. I uh, think I took off my stock. I've got Rust-Oleum clear coat, and then I also have Rust-Oleum camouflage black. I don't have Krylon. Scissors for the sandpaper, sling, and the only tool you really need to take apart your Mosin is going to be this flathead. So let's go ahead and start. Of course, safety check. This is a bolt action, probably be the safest gun to know if it's empty or not. Chamber is empty. You go ahead and take your bolt off by holding in that tree there. Taking out your magazine follower. Very simple. If you guys have not seen my disassembly video, make sure to check that out. Next, you have two screws to take out the whole magazine well section of the gun here. Once you take those screws out, Magazine well comes right off the gun, and then you're going to have your two clamps up here on the barrel. You're going to pull those right off after pushing the tabs down. As I said, this is a really quick rundown. I already had it pre-disassembled. You have your top cover right here, and then your whole barrel and receiver it comes right off the gun. Only other thing you have to take off the stock is your cleaning rod. And basically, we just got to take a few more parts off here. And this is what your completely disassembled Mosin should look like. Okay, so as I said, here we are with the stock now. So basically, the two main parts we are going to be painting is going to be that top cover and just pretty much the whole stock of the gun here. Forgot to take that butt plate off. So yeah. So basically, since this is all wood and there's no other really metal pieces or any threading on the inside of the stock, we really don't have to tape this down. We can uh, really paint this thing liberally. Just paint it all over. You don't have to worry about getting it on the inside because it's not going to affect the function. Only thing we're probably going to be taping off is the ends of the uh, top cover here. So that's pretty much it. We're just going to go ahead and tape those off and start sanding. Okay, guys, so here is the uh, current finish. Just sanded the shit out of it. Uh, as you can tell, oh shit, by the, uh, the towel there. Removed a lot of Cosmolane too. So, um, of course, I'm not going to show you all me sanding the gun for 15 minutes. That's pointless. Now we're just going to go out outside, paint the whole thing black. I decided not to tape off anything. We're just going to go ahead and um, just straight up paint it. Okay, guys, now we're going to start painting here. Probably going to do about two or three coats of black. I'm not going to show you the person painting. They have a, a top security clearance, so I can't be showing their face on film. So yeah, you're probably only going to be seeing a little bit of this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cut scene to the gun being done painted and probably going to the clear coat. Okay guys, so here is the Mosin Nagant. Got the first coat of, uh, or both coats of black up there. First clear coat already put up there, so I'm just going to put one more. Uh, do a quick little rundown of the stock here. And then after I clear coat it, we're just going to put it back together and look at the final product. Okay guys, I just want to thank you for stopping by to my channel or this video and watching 
my newest video on my newest Zenigat M9130. If you guys enjoyed seeing this mod and you plan to do this to one of your Moe's Zenigat rifles, go ahead and make sure to like this video. If this is your first time stumbling across my channel, make sure to subscribe. Got a lot of gun videos, got a lot of airsoft videos, and just a bunch of random stuff you might enjoy watching. Until next time, this has been a What You Likes video, and I'm out.